May 23rd, St. John Baptiste de Rossi. St. John Baptiste de Rossi, also known as the patron saint of the Abandon, was born in the Piedmontese village of Otagio in the Diocese of Genoa and was one of four children. His parents of modest means were devout and well esteemed. A nobleman and his wife vacationing in Voltaggio, and impressed with the ten-year-old John Baptiste, obtained permission from his parents to take him to live with them and be trained in their house in Genoa. After three years, hearing of his virtues, John's cousin, Lorenzo Rossi, canon of Santa Maria, invited him to join him in Rome. Thus John Baptiste entered the Roman Jesuit College at thirteen. Despite bouts of epilepsy brought on by imposing harsh penances upon himself, he was granted a dispensation and was ordained at the age of twenty-three. From his student days he loved visiting hospitals. Now as a priest there was much more he could offer suffering souls. He particularly loved the hospice of St. Gala, a night shelter for paupers. There he labored for forty years. He also worked at the hospital of Trinta de Pellegrini and extended his assistance to other poor, such as cattlemen who came to the market in the Roman Forum. He had great pity for the homeless women and girls, and from the little he made in mass stipends, he rented a refuge for them. John Baptiste was also selected by Pope Benedict XIV to deliver courses of instruction to prison officials and other state servants. Among his penitents was the public hangman. In the year 1731, Canon Rossi obtained for his cousin a post of assistant priest at Santa Maria. He was a great confessor to whom penitents flocked, and as a preacher the saint was also in demand for missions and retreats. On the death of the canon, john inherited his cannery but applied the money attached to the post to buy an organ and hire an organist as to the house he gave it to the chapter and went to live in the attic in the year seventeen sixty three st john baptiste's health began to fail and he was obliged to take up residence in the hospital of trinita de pellegrini he expired after a couple of strokes on may twenty third seventeen sixty four at sixty six years old he died so poor that the hospital prepared to pay for his burial but the church took over and he was given a triumphant funeral with numerous clergy and religious and the papal choir in attendance his body was buried in that church under a marble slab at the altar of the blessed virgin his remains were relocated in nineteen sixty five to a new church named in his honor pope Pius VI began the cause for canonization for john baptiste de rossi in seventeen eighty one but both the French Revolution and the Nipponic Wars created setbacks. Years later, in the year 1859, Pope Pius IX resumed his cause and attributed two miracles to John's intercession. St. John Baptiste de Rossi was beatified on May 13, 1860 by Pope Pius IX and canonized on December 8, 1881 by Pope Leo XIII. Let us remember St. John Baptiste de Rossi from the following quote he gave in a sermon ignorance is the leprosy of the soul how many such lepers exist in the church here in rome where many people don't even know what's necessary for their salvation it must be our business to try to cure this disease the souls of our neighbors are in our hands and yet how many are lost through our fault the sick die without being properly prepared because we have not given enough time or care to each particular case yet with a little more patience a little more perseverance a little more love we could have led these poor souls to heaven many of us shrink from going to the hospitals from fear of infection or from the sights and smells that await us there courage we are not in the world to follow our own will and pleasure but to imitate god 